would you please put your hands together and welcome a gentleman you all know and love, the one and only Mr. Colin Baker. <laughs> Ooh, what a lot of people. Shut the talk door behind you. Right. Hello, 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 hello. How nice. They don't all believe what they read in the papers then. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I wish I had shares in Kodak. Absolutely. <laughs> right, would you just like to finish off? There'll be an opportunity for photographs afterwards. Yes. A lot of those. <laughs> Oh, look, John Pertwee's words are written on this. <laughs> right, OK, Colin. OK, Colin. Nobody can see now, they'll get cross. Colin? Thank you. The words okay, paint sorry, and drying. Very quick announcement. Would uh, Christopher Jones, young lad Christopher Jones, please go to the organizer's office? which is just outside the main hall here. Where he will be organised. <laughs> right. Well, nice to see you, Colin. Nice to be here, Steve. Are you glad to be here, Colin? Oh, I am. I've just met a lot of lovely companions upstairs I haven't seen for a long while. Right. And all of you as well, of course. That's very nice. <laughs> so over the years you've met a lot of the companions and actors and doctors? I have, and yes. Know them. I have, yes. Do you feel like yes. a family at all? I mean, it's a nice yeah, well, there's an awful lot of... Uh, 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 the, the doctors I meet quite frequently, but a lot of the companions I only meet on occasions like this. Yeah. And uh, we've got jolly chummy over the years, mm -hmm. so it's nice to see... Uh, I won't sing out any names, because the ones I'll forget will get cross, but Absolutely. there's about a dozen of them. I think there's a dozen of them upstairs. Yes. And I've been chatting. Isn't that nice? Yeah, yes, it is. Well, there's, there's one name that springs to mind. Um, you know quite well, I believe. You know a woman called Nicola. Nicola, Nicola Bryant, yes. I, I remember her. You do? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> quite well? Oh, very well. I was working with her a couple of weeks ago. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, will you put your hands together and welcome Nicola Bryant. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> she here? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to I'm do it. I'm so sorry. Hi. Oh, you got them out. I've got them out for the holidays. Oh, my God. Have you just arrived? Yes. Here's some London traffic, lovely. <laughs> Great. Well, as I said, there'll be an opportunity for photographs afterwards, so please take your seats. I have lots of time when we're done. All right. Yes, okay. mm -hmm. sir. Oh, is that for Nicola? Oh. You don't let me touch it, are you? I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to give it to her. There you are. Thank you. Perry. Young love. Okay. Thank you. Right, well now, Colin, Nicola. Yesterday when I was talking to John on a panel, we decided, first of all, we weren't going to talk about Doctor Who. We'll do that later. Because everyone, you know, talks about Doctor Who on these occasions. But I want to start by asking about some other things first. First of all, Nicola, Blackadder. Right. You were in a Blackadder special. It's on. It Hello. is. It yes. is. You're there. Oh. Mine's on. No. Ha ha. Speak loudly. Into Sorry, me. Collins is bigger than mine. Shall I turn it on for you? <laughs> Turning on would be a good idea. Oh, right? That might help. But the eyesight goes first, and I can't see the switch. Okay. I think you're there. You're okay. No, there should be a red light on if it's turned on. Speak no, I'm distinctly off. Can you hear me? Well, hello! <laughs> there we are. So you were in a Blackout of Christmas special. I wanted to know, was that incredible fun or not? I mean, working with someone like Rowan Atkinson. I'm going to sit very close to Colin and use his as well. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> yeah, it's okay by me. Yeah, thanks, Colin. And how much did you pay them to do that? <laughs> Ten P. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah, Blackadder was great fun. I mean, it, it was the first time I'd ever sort of filmed in front of a live audience, other than Doctor Who conventions, I suppose. Um, but the the thing about it that, that that seemed very strange at first was knowing whether to play. Oh, oh, 
Oh, thank you. I like this one. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hello? Hello? Oh, yes! Right. Oh. Why don't I take that? You take that. And I have Excuse me. Right. Um. Could be gone for years. <laughs> doesn't work. Sorry about the thing. Get another one, are you? Right. Yes, anyway, the thing. Hello, Steve. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Um, talking about Blackadder, as I believe we were trying to, um, the only thing about it that I found very confusing at first was knowing whether to play to the camera or to the audience, because from stage work you wanted to relate to all those people out there who were watching you, but of course you wanted your close-ups as well. So uh, that was the thing that was a bit strange about filming it. And because I was filming like this, the second lot of studio, the audience were all warmed up by Ben Elton, and in between scenes, they were playing the scenes that they'd already shot on a screen. So what they wanted to do was basically give the audience the full story exactly as it was going to be screened. So you would be doing one scene and you would leg it like some mad possessed woman round to the other scene in time to start on cue as they just finished this other 10 second scene that was already filmed. And there was one moment that was very, very tight. <laughs> but basically they didn't want you to, to film any scene more than once. Mm -hmm. you, just to, to do it completely live. Is Rowan, is Rowan acting to the perfectionist? He, he's, yes, very much so. I mean, he's much quieter than I imagined he would be. Very, quite a serious man. Um, and uh, very conscientious, and he got all his takes right, except for one, which was to do with the letter B, which he has a stutter on. Bob. Yes, as so brilliantly demonstrated there by Colin. Bob. <laughs> So, obviously, somebody who particularly um, wanted to have a go at Rowan. <laughs> it's very good he was only on A last time I met him. Bob. <laughs> Decided to name... Love you, honey. <laughs> Rowan Atkinson sidekick Baldrick, which is very smart if someone's got a stutter on the letter B. And he had a, a phrase where he had to get angry with Baldrick and say, the blasted balls, Baldrick, or something. And he just couldn't say it. Every time we went for a take, it was the <laughs> Which was funny the first time. And then by about take four or five, the audience were getting restless. And of course, none of the jokes are funny four or t five times later. Oh, so, <laughs> really? <laughs> you phase out more 10 Bs for those. But um, so they, we came to take it again, about take five or six. And instead of saying what was actually written in the script, he said something completely different, like, you know, the stupid squares or something. And everybody burst into fits of laughter, the whole audience, and then we carried on with the scene. But when you watch it on the actual video, there's suddenly this outrageous laugh for something that isn't funny at all. <laughs> yeah. And because they don't tamper with it, they don't add canned laughter, they don't play around with it, you, if you play back the video of it, you'll suddenly see that the audience this great big laugh over something that isn't particularly amusing at all, but it's because he changed the words when you had about six takes beforehand. Right. Uh, and Colin, I bet you're glad you asked that question, uh, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I know, it's very well. <laughs> what was it? Yes, Colin. Yes. Recently, I believe you've done uh, an episode of the Indiana Jones. Yes. Chronicles. Yes. Now that did sound like fun. Was it a larger than life character? What, what were you playing? I did an episode called Beersheba, um, which I, it was a minute role I was playing, really. I was playing a, a real-life character called General Chauvel, and when I arrived in Turkey, a bit of Turkish filming there, in Turkey to film this part, I learnt it was Australian, um, but as the company making it are American, they couldn't tell the difference in the accent anyway, so they didn't think that was an important piece of information. So I found myself in Turkey playing an Australian general, and uh, filmed there for three days, came home, forgot about it, and six months later, George Lucas, who was the producer of this, saw the final cut and decided that uh, I'd like to say that he liked my character so much that he decided to expand it but what happened was he decided he wanted a longer film and therefore they decided to enlarge a few characters one of which was mine so I went and did some extra scenes which were supposed to be taking place in exactly the same place as the ones I'd just done and we filmed them in Prague <laughs> 